Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a robot walk cycle like this in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to choose in this lesson and this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to animate something like this with the help of Twig Basil plugin. By the way, if you want to learn how to do designs like this in Adobe Illustrator, then do check out my other lessons on Adobe Illustrator. I will be linking them in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner. So let's jump into Adobe After Effects and let's start with the rigging process. So here you will notice few colored circles over the illustration. We have added it for the rigging purpose. So turn on your twig bezel and we are going to start with the leg rigging. Now go on rigging, then go on create structures. Then we need to select the leg structure layer. But if we click the leg structure layers, it will be added randomly over here. Like this we have to reposition it. So the reason I have added these reference layers in different layers is if we select it in a proper order, this is the thigh, this is the middle one and this is the foot. And then if we click on leg, then it will, this whole structure layers will be properly arranged. We don't need to rearrange it over here. But you have to select it in proper order. If we do it in reverse, it will be added in the reverse order so you have to keep in mind so select this one then this one and then this one and then click on leg but the foot we need to readjust because we haven't added any reference layer for this one So select the structure layers and bring it over the leg one. Let's solo the layers for a moment and let's parent thigh with thigh and this one with this one and then select the structure layers and go to links and constraints and click on auto rig to rig the leg automatically. Right now it's rigged. So now Let's unsolo all the layers and then we are going to select this thigh structure layer and parent it with the body of this robot and then select all these structure layers and turn off the visibility and shy it out and activate this to hide these layers. So we are going to do the same for the other legs as well. So right now it's for legs too. So select it in ascending order in a proper order and then click on create structures and then again click on leg and let's adjust this position. So with this, our leg 2 is also rigged. Let's parent this one with body and then select all of this and turn off the visibility and shy it out and do the same for the leg 3 as well. So the leg 3 is also rigged, then again parent it with, parent the thigh structure layer with the body and then turn off the visibility, shy it out and again repeat the process for leg 4.
okay so with this all the four foots are rigged properly and if we move the body this also moves together because we have parented the thigh structure layer with the body so right now we are going to do the same for this oh, attached arm over here as well so right now let's select all the reference layer of the leg and let's delete it because we don't need it anymore and right now we are going to again select hand layers in this order and then again go to structure layers and click on arm and it's properly arranged like this so now let's delete this reference layer and after that let's select this arm structure layers and put it over here let's parent this layer with arm and then this portion of the joint with forearm and then this one with hand and then this two finger one and finger two let's convert it into shape layers delete the illustration layers and remove outline from the name so we're going to move the anchor point of this finger and put it over here and let's move the anchor point of this finger and move it over here let's parent this finger two with finger one and finger one with this hand so what it will happen is uh, i've also parented this hand with the hand structure layer so let's parent this with the hand structure layer so everything is in the rig right now so if we auto rig it everything is going to move together so with this the hand is also rigged as well if we move the controller everything moves together like this and if we want to move this initial portion then we can simply add rotation keyframes in these layers individually like this all right so now let's parent this hand with body this hand controller with body and then also parent this arm structure layer with body as well and let's select all these structure layers turn off the visibility and shy it out and then we are going to move the anchor point of the body and put it over here so if we move the body right now everything moves together okay so now this whole rig is ready to animate so let's jump into the animation section so before jumping straight to the animation let's shy out few of the layers that are not required for the animation process so select all these illustration layers and let's unselect the body layer let's deselect this layers and other than that all these layers we can shy out so let's lock it and let's shy out the layers all right so let's start with the animation of the foot let's turn on the ruler so for that the shortcut key is Control plus r and i'm going to put a ruler over here so that this leg doesn't crosses this horizon so let's start with the foot one let's open the position put a keyframe open the rotation put a keyframe and then jump on to next 30 frames and then press u to open the keyframes properties and put keyframe over here so let's bring the work area end over here as well let's fix it let's select this keyframes and bring it front bring it at this point all right after that let's jump on to next 15 frames to make the next contact pose at this point let's move this foot and put it over here all right 
So let's select this keyframes and easy is it. Actually, we don't need to add any keyframe on rotation over here. So let's only work with position. Let's split the dimension. And after that, let's jump on to next eight frames and pull up the foot controller somewhere around here. As it's a robot, so it's not going to bring this foot too high. So it will be some something like similar to a mechanical animation. So we are not going to bring it too high. All right, let's check the animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Now we can just add the loop expression to this keyframes. So add the loop expression. So we are going to add the loop expression in the X position keyframe as well. After that, let's copy these keyframes. Select the foot three, paste it over here as well. And after that, we are going to offset foot three by something around uh, 15 frames so that it looks like, like this. And after that, we are going to shift foot three some slightly on the right side. All right, let's check our animation. Okay, so it's looking pretty nice. So we're going to do the same for the other two foots as well. Let's copy this keyframes and paste over here in the foot two as well. But we need to shift the foot two layer and put it over here. And also let's just offset it by 15 frames so that it's exactly at the middle point. So it looks something like this. This is actually, uh, this front foot is in 15 frames offset with this foot. All right. Now we can actually copy these keyframes and paste it over here in foot four and slightly shift it frontward a bit. All right, so now we can select foot two and foot four and slightly offset it by one frame. And let's check the animation. Okay, so it's looking pretty nice now. So let's animate the body. So now let's select the body layer and open the position, put a keyframe. Let's split the layers and let's only work with the Y axis and also open rotation and put a keyframe. And after that, let's jump on to next eight frames and let's lift the body up a bit. And at this point, slightly downwards. We're not going to move the body too much up and down as it's a robot so the movement should look like slightly mechanical so after that let's jump on to next seven frames and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe and after that we're going to also add a slight rotation at this point let's add a small rotation not this much of around 0.8 percent and at this point a minus 0.6 percent and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe and select the keyframes and is is it copy the loop expression and paste it at this properties and after that let's offset this keyframes by two frames and again rotation by 
two frames. Let's check our animation. All right, so like this, you can animate a robot walk cycle with Twig Basier plugin After Effects. You can also add the hand however you want. You can simply move the controller and do whatever action you like. You can even move this portion by adding rotation keyframes over here like this so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye